This is a game that I made up to play with my first graders when they studied the human body, but really it could work well for older kids as well. I'm trying to get them to understand how vaccines work. So we talk about the fact that a vaccine gives your body a picture of the bad guy so that you can more easily look for the bad guy. And special weapons, antibodies, have to be built to battle certain bad guys. So the first thing I do is give them the vaccine. In the vaccine, there are these die cut shapes. I picked a simple shape to start with, a lightning bolt. I give them orange lightning bolts and tell them, you have been vaccinated against this disease. Now your body is going to make the secret weapon, antibodies. In order to make this antibody, to lock up the germ when the real thing comes along, you have to cut out of white paper a little jail cell for the germ. That's what the antibody is. So hopefully they've gotten the vaccine in advance of the disease, and so they have five minutes to cut out these shapes. They work at tables, and after five minutes, they have a stack of antibodies ready to go. Then the real disease comes along. It's red, and I throw them on the table and say, watch out, watch out, it's here. Don't get infected. And so as soon as the kids are, quote, exposed to this disease, they lock it up with the antibodies that they have made. If your body can make antibodies, why don't you just fight off diseases quickly every time? So then we have a disease that we weren't vaccinated against, this snowflake. It is a little more complicated than the lightning bolt, but that's for a reason. So I throw the red ones on the table, no vaccine in advance, and they have to quickly cut out an antibody to this disease, but they only have one minute. They've already been exposed. Of course, they can't do that. And so they end up realizing that the disease is going to get them because they weren't prepared. I do know that this is a very simplified version of how vaccines work, but for little kids it gets the idea across. And hopefully, next time they have to get a flu shot, they will be a little more inclined to think of it as building up an arsenal against the bad guys, and maybe not be quite so unhappy about it.